started more modifying clothes and doing altered and reconstruction of clothes where I would take older pieces, vintage pieces that were kind of maybe a little bit out of style, a little bit bland, and modifying, cutting it, changing halves and different things. And I try to get new, interesting things all the time. Um, most of my clothing that I have in here is, uh, a lot of it's one of a kind, um, so it's always constantly new inventory, there's new items every week. Um, I also like to do different independent local companies if I can help them out. Some people trying to make some things, like since the printed t-shirts are local, but usually in limited quantities, so that way it's kind of something, always something new. Now with the way that communication age is going, the internet, um, and how fast paced everything is, there's really such a fast turnaround with styles and trends that it's not so much, you know, it, it's not like there's a, oh, the big, what's going to be big this fall. I mean, that still happens, but it's more like what's big next week. How often do you change? Very often. often. There's something I did things in almost every week or something. Mm -hmm. How much? Hard to say. What? Whatever I can find. But there's always something new. My customer base is really diverse. I would say the main group is kind of what you would expect. Your 18 to 30 kind of age group. In the style of clothes that I have and the way that things are now, I do tend to get uh, a very extreme as well. I'll be like in older groups. A lot of times parents will come in with their kids and the parents end up finding things that they like. Um, it might be sometimes something that's nostalgic or they might have had when they were younger. And it's not really just one type of person either. I get them from all different aspects of life.